Hey everyone, welcome to Icon UK. My name is Melanie Murphy and today I'm going to show you how to make DIY pore strips at home. If you don't know what pore strips are, basically they are little things that you pop onto your nose and they're going to remove all of the congestion and sebum and blackheads that we get all in that area. And this is going to be a little bit different from the usual way you see people do this from home because we're using balm tissues and these are like really soft tissues that are a lot better for your skin. So let's get started. So guys, these are really easy to make at home and you're only going to need a couple of things that are really easy to source. First off, water, just some distilled water, three quarters cup of that. And then you're gonna need some xanthan gum. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of this and you can find this in your local grocery store in the baking aisle, it's really easy to find. We're gonna add in a little bit of eucalyptus oil as well because it smells amazing and it's also anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. So it's a really good thing to add in. And then you're gonna to wanna to get like an old makeup brush and don't use a new one because it's gonna get a little bit messy up in here. And finally, we've got our tissues. So I've already cut these up into like nose size strips. So just cut them to the size that it'll need to go across your nose. And as I said, this is the balm tissues, but if you can't find these, just go with regular toilet roll. So what we have to do now is pop everything into a big bowl. And I'm gonna start off with the xanthan gum. And for this, we have a tablespoon of this measured out here. So I'm gonna pop that in there and then after that, what we need to do is add in three quarter cups of the distilled water just to make life easier. And this is a quarter of a cup, so three of these. Naturally, great at my maths. And before mixing that, you need to add in 10 drops of your eucalyptus oil. And it's so nice, it's so pungent though, so just be careful not to get it onto your skin. It's quite powerful stuff, so it might burn, so just be careful. And then we're just gonna mix all that up with a spoon. And this is the fun part, because you can feel like a witch or a wizard. And it's great. If you wanna be really fancy, you can use a whisk, but I'm going with an old fashioned spoon, because why not? So you'll want to mix it until it's about this consistency, really, really thick, and then you're done. What I'm going to do now then is decant it into a couple of little containers like this, and what you can do is put some into one of these, pop it into the fridge, and it'll last you about two months then. God, it's so gooey. I love it. And there you go. So then all you need to do is take your old makeup brush and you're gonna apply the mixture directly onto clean skin. So you'll pop some in and around your nose. And then you're gonna take one of the little tissue pieces that you cut up, pop that on. Take some more of the mixture and layer that right on top. So build it up and make sure that you mold the tissue in and around your nose. And this will make sure that it grips on really, really tight. Once the tissue is on, just leave it for a little while and come back to it when it's nice and firm. And then you can peel it off really, really slowly or you can pull it off, whatever suits you. And it's so satisfying seeing all the gunk that's gonna come off and be stuck to it after that. So that's it, all done. If you want, you can pop on an ice cube to close up your pores. But after that, you can go ahead with your regular skincare. Do Tweet Icon UK a picture if you try it out and if it works for you, we want to see how gross it is because we're nosy. Ha, <laughs> nosy, pun, great. <laughs> I really, really hope you liked this and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out some more videos here and I'll see you in another video. Bye.